trace on this one. Now if I was really good I could freehand this, but I just don't have that built in. Now this one I'm laying here. So like I said, I'm gonna cut all of this out here. And then this is just gonna be a line that I'll carve in with probably an inverted cone and a round over bit. And then this one will actually be recessed down inside. And as we go along, I'll show you each one of the bits that I'm using to, uh, to get this accomplished. This will just be filled in with crushed stone. That'll be filled in with crushed stone. And then this will remain the actual yard night that it is. All right, let's grab the project here. We'll take it on over to my carving cabinet. Flip the light on, put that in there. And then in order to start cutting, I have a little vise that I put in there. And then I'll be changing out my, uh, my tip for a diamond disc to start doing the cutting. All right, let's go ahead and grab some pieces and parts here. First, I need my chuck tool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my cutoff discs, diamond cutoff discs. That one looks like it might be a little bit better for what I'm doing. Take that, and then we'll go ahead and throw those inside. All right, so let's change out the bit here bit per disc the stuff I normally do this outside the cabinet but because I'm making the video all right now that we've got this changed out and we got that set up we'll flip on the water and in case you don't know I've got uh, a foot pedal down to a pump I'm gonna use a little bit more water than I normally do in carving mainly for uh, just to get in here and cut and grind quite a bit. But in one of my other videos, I show you where that foot pedal is and what I do with it. I need to trim some of these bigger areas out right here. So I'll probably reverse cut that and then I'll come back on the, the front side and actually get a little bit better um, around the curves there. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started here. My first heart inlay that I did, I used the uh, the Dremel discs and cut the shape out of it and same type of rock I didn't have any problem with it but for some reason when I started cutting this one right away it went right it just took all the diamond ed edges off so I'm going to a plan B and I'm using a little bit larger uh, burr on this one and I'm going to be taking out larger chunks on it so I'm going to go ahead and keep going on this a little bit and get at least the heart itself uh, cleaned out and we'll move on from there. All right, I'll keep going here and be back in a minute. So as you can see here, I've got a rough cut on this and it took a little longer than normal using uh, this style of a burr. You might be asking me, well, why don't I just cut it with a tile saw? Well, I can, but the purpose of this is to show you that you can do this with a Dremel or rotary tool and uh, still get the same results. So, therefore, I didn't use a tile saw, and if I were to start doing more of these, then I would probably break them out and uh, get all at least the, the rough cut of it taken care of. So, there you go. All right, let's do a little bit of cleanup on this. I have a little bit larger uh, I think it's a 150 grit uh, round square head burr and I'll go ahead and take some of that and start cleaning some of this stuff up. You'll notice that I put this back in a vise um, basically after a period of time your your wrist get a little sore so let's get after it. Now you can see the reason why I'm using such a square edge bit here, a burr, is so I can just follow right along the line and get a nice square cut on it. I'm going to end up rounding it over, but nonetheless, it uh, does a pretty good job of keeping a straight edge. Now 
now she's taking shape looking better see how I'm using the flat edge on this to actually get around the curves so I'd say that's pretty good for uh, doing some rough cuts here I'm going to use the inverted comb here and start tracing the outline of both the inner and outer hearts and then once I get uh, the outline itself traced then I'll switch to a different bird and start doing a little bit of digging in. So I'm going to use my little ball burr here and take this and go around the inside of it a little bit and get it a little bit deeper in through there. Now we finally got to the point of getting all the cutting, the grinding, and hollowing out of the inner heart here. It's time to go ahead and start putting in the inlay material. As a general statement, super glue, CA glue, and diamonds don't like each other. So I'm going to start off with a uh, regular abrasive pad, probably a I don't know, 60 grit or 80 grit, to start off and get all the rough stuff out of here first, and then uh, we'll get to the polishing part a little bit later. After about uh, five minutes or so of the uh, the regular sanding drums, I switched over to my diamond burr here. It's the flat squared one. I'll get this cleaned up a little bit. Notice how I'm running the water a little bit uh, faster on this one. I want to keep it as cool as possible because what it actually does is starts burning the CA glue. That's what I meant earlier about the diamonds and. The, the diamond burrs and the CA glue, it just kind of starts mushing it all together. So you mix the water in there, it makes for a little bit smoother uh, cutting, I guess. Coming down to the final stretch, I got it to the point with my diamond bits, diamond burrs on the Dremel tool, and I uh, got it down to a nice flat point to where I need to go ahead and start polishing. As you can see in the back here, I have diamond pads that I use. Uh, you can do this with sandpaper. It takes a lot longer, maybe a few more sheets or whatever. But uh, I've been using this method. As a matter of fact, I have a video up on it as well. And uh, I'll put that link down in the description. Okay, it all comes down to this. I actually have a 7500 pad, but I think my 3000 is going to be good enough. I would say that she came out really nice. Look at that shine. Wow, man, that looks good. A lot of work, but well worth it. Somebody's got themselves a nice little palm stone, heart palm stone with lapis and chungite in it. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like if you do and uh, put the bell on it for notifications because I plan on doing more of these videos. Thanks again and have a great day.